Pam Sheeler, S-H-E-E-L-E-R, 1868 Muddy Creek Circle in Loveland. And, okay. You bet. Thank you. Sure. Um, I'm basically going to agree with everybody with the customer service and the billing. Very difficult to um, decipher the billing. And um, as far as being disconnected, that has happened the past five times that I have phoned them. You do call in, explain your problem. After waiting for a minimum of 26 minutes to talk to somebody, finally you get hold of somebody and they can't answer your question or they do go off and try to fix something. They're going to send something to you to run it through your system to see if everything's working okay. Then, okay, let me check one more thing. They put you on hold and all of a sudden you're gone. You're disconnected. Then you've got to start all over again. And again, it's another 30 minute wait until you get through. And the second time when I call back, I always mention to them, it's like, you know, I just went through this with every, another person and I was disconnected. Do you have that in your record? And they fishtail around that one. And they'll say, oh, I'm very sorry. I said, well, don't you have my phone number in there that if we, we get disconnected, you can call me back because I want to solve this problem. Of course, they never called back. That goes along, too, with their surveys. I've so wanted to do, take their surveys, and they always offer that at the end of the phone calls, when you finally get through with your phone calls to them. That's been three times that I know of for sure. I go through the system to be able to get the call back from them, to give them my feedback, and I have yet to get one phone call back from them. Um, I had a situation with one of the small boxes going out like twice. So it's easier to just take it down to that store on first. And you can't call that store either. There's no phone that goes right to them. So you have to go down in person. When I got down there, um, they said they didn't have the small box. They would give me a large box, which they did. They said next, Wednesday, or next Tuesday we'll have one of the small boxes in stock, so come on back. I went back Tuesday. Oh, and I said, would you please put my name on one so I can be assured, because I know they're in short supply. They're in high demand, I guess. So um, I asked him if he'd put my name on one. He said, certainly, we'll do that. Um, so I went down Tuesday. They didn't have a box. It didn't come in. So I went down the next day. He promised me they'd be there. They were. My name wasn't on a box. I just happened to get the very last one on the shelf. It was just by dumb luck that one was sitting there. My tie, so right there's my contact. There's my little sheet. He had a sticky note up there with my name on it. But, you know, nobody even cared to look and check that out. Um, the other thing that made me mad, too, it's correct that most of these people don't know what they're talking about when you call them online. I've tried to go through and get directions on things, and you can talk to four or five different people and you get different answers. At the end of, um, or the beginning of this year, I needed to get, well, I guess I should start back <laughs> because of January and 11. I knew I was going to need my phone records for 2012. So I talked to them, and they said, yes, at the end of the year, all you need to do is go in you know, to your voicemail, and you, know, you can pull out the, all your records for your phone calls through the year and print them out. So at the end of 2012, I tried to do that, and I only saw like three months' worth. So it finally dawned on me, I better call them and see what I'm doing wrong. When I got through to them, um, they said, oh, no, you can only do three months at a time. It's not the whole year. And I went high up the ladder um, to some late, I've got all the records at home, but just some very nice lady in the executive end of it, she said, oh, you know, she was very sorry. And, and this was for a lawyer that I need, <laughs> needed the records for, so um, for some business purposes. So it was very frustrating. She said the only way they could do it was to have a lawyer write a letter to them or something. It was this big, long thing, and it's like, well, I'm not going to go through that. So anyway, I lost out on all those records. Um, I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else. So I'm just very unhappy. I just wish there was more competition, at least one other place. You know, a lot of places have two or sometimes even three um, companies that you can offer. Their bills, yeah, they just keep going up and up and up. And I've been several times I've had to go to battle with them over the bill, and they would take it off. I kind of ran into the same situation. They'd take it off. The next month it was back on. And to get them to understand why that shouldn't even be on the bill is a killer. That's what they did, too, with the last time when, one of that, when that little small box went out. They charged me then for another box. They just added another box on, even though I was just swapping them out. So 
I could go on with those little things, but I'll stop. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Pam Healer.